morning, good afternoon, and good evening. My name is Ryan, and today we are going to be talking about how to work GR2 Analyst. GR2 Analyst is a uh, beautiful and amazing um, weather tracking software. So if you don't know how to use GR2 Analyst, this video is posted on the 2nd of October 2022. So we will be able to get, uh, this was updated, recently updated, so um, yeah. So when you first, sorry, when you first uh, buy GR2, this screen, this is gonna pop up here. Um, you want here, you'll want to go to um, panels and you'll switch it to four panels. Um, this is at least my preference to have the most, um, the most information up here at the same time. You're gonna go to, you can go to uh, site and then you can uh, go to select. Uh, when you get to select, you're gonna wanna pick your city you're in um, and then it'll take you there. So say I want to go to uh, Tampa Bay. I press okay and it takes me right down here to Tampa Bay's radar and I click onto the dot that's kinda here. You just click on that dot and it'll put you on that radar. But um, as you can see, nothing is, uh, there's no like data radar stuff showing up. So you're going to want to press file, configure polling. You're going to want to make sure you have this link in here. Uh, I'll have that link down below. Um, and you're going to want to press this, uh, this like globe with the computer. It's going to say start polling. You're going to press start polling. And then here in a second. This should, yep, there we go. So now we've got uh, the, uh, the um, well, radar up there. Um, as you can see, I've got uh, spectrum width down here. Um, actually, I believe that's ZDR. Um, and then I've got normal reflectivity, um, base velocity, and then correlation coefficient in this box over here. Um, so while we're here, I'll show you some of this fe the features. So here, um, this like uh, fork looking thing, if you go to a storm and you kind of make a box over it, um, it'll bring up this screen and it'll show you the storm in 3D. Um, you can look at it in velocities. So you can see we might, there could be a little something right, right in there. Um, slight, slight, slightest rotation. Um, if you go here, you can make a line from things, and you can see here um, it kind of shows the um, distance there, and uh, it shows you uh, kind of the height. It shows you the height of the uh, storms there. If you you can also change your product here. So if I want to change this one to base reflectivity and change this one to ZDR, there we go. Now I've got it like that. Um, so this this again shows you the height. This line thing shows you the height of the storm. Um, if you go to this box here, you can uh, you can uh, if you um, right click on your mouse, you just zoom right into a storm there. Um, if you just normally uh, on the left side, click it, left click your mouse, you can uh, move around there. Um, this button here, just like any other radar, plays it. Um, these, just, this does ugly things, so don't use that, alright? Um, here, these are just some hail icons and things like that. Um, that just shows you like uh, the size of hail and um, things like that. So uh, you're gonna wanna go to Windows and go to Show Place File Manager. This little thing here is gonna pop up. You're gonna wanna put these three in here. I'll put the links for those um, there. You're gonna wanna copy the link that's in the description and you're gonna wanna put it, uh, cop paste it into here and then press OK and it'll pop up right here. And then whenever you wanna turn it on, you just click that dot um, so like this one here, 
this shows me the position of everybody that's on Spotter Network. So every single person that's on Spotter Network pops up there for me. Uh, and then um, the uh, the uh, and then you can just uncheck it whenever you don't want those there. Um, you're also, let's see here. Um, if you go here to uh, view, you can press cover, color table settings. So you can just go online and search up uh, color tables, and that'll for GR2. And you can just put those color tables in here, and it'll change how the uh, the radar looks there. You can also change all these things, cursor settings. Um, things like that um, and then you can uh, go to like logo settings icon settings um, and you can uh, for warning settings um, I like to use GR colors because it just looks better but you can also use uh, National Weather Service colors there um, there's more uh, obviously to uh, GR2 there um, but um, those are the main basics that will help you get started with GR2. So thank you for watching. Please uh, like and subscribe. And we will see you on the next one. Goodbye.